Hello guys, this is Ralph from NTX. We're here at the 25th Gourmet Wine and Food Expo in Toronto. You should definitely check it out. We have so much fun in here. This is what I got. Chocolate hummus made from chickpeas and chocolate. Try it. Wow. It's like a devil's Nutella. But it's hummus. With no palm oil. Yes, it's hummus. Yeah. And same nutritive facts, no sugar added. Mm -hmm. It's all good. We use date paste and agave mm. syrup. Mm. It's so good. Where can I find this? Uh, soon. Now, Sobeys across the country. Yeah. Costco in January. Loblaws following in January. Those are based in Canada. All Canada, yes. All Canada. So Made Montreal. in Canada, yes. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Frankie. Uh, Frankie yeah, 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 yeah. Nice to meet you. Tell me about it. Absolutely. So this is the Bar Chef Project Toasted Old Fashioned. So Bar Chef is a cocktail bar uh, located on Queen Street West. We've been open now for 11 years. And what we've done with this product is bottled one of our best-selling cocktails. So now you're able to have a cocktail bar quality cocktail experience at home just by pouring over ice, a little zest of orange, and you've got the exact same recipe that our mixologists are making at the bar, in the bottle, ready to go. So Canadian whiskey section of the LCBO, $25.10, you get six old fashions per bottle. Ooh. So the coolest thing about this product is it's literally an authentic cocktail experience. It is the exact same recipe that our mixologists are making at the bar. And the thing about Bar Chef is that we achieve huge amounts of complexity from our ingredients because we make all of our components for the cocktail program in-house. So you've got toasted chamomile saffron bitters in this, one of our favorite bitters to use at the bar. So you have like undertones of caraway seeds, there's star anise, height of fennel seed, green cardamom, there's cinnamon, etc. So huge amounts of complexity in the bitter itself. It's Ontario maple syrup in there as well, so you're supporting local farmers all out of uh, Elmira, Ontario. And then Canadian whiskey as well, so it's delicious. Yes, absolutely, for sure, yeah, we can do that. Oh, amazing. It is absolutely delicious. One for you as well? Yeah. Little zest of orange and you're good to go. Just like that. Here we are. It's crazy. It's so delicious. I haven't even tried yet, but it's... Wow. Can't believe I just found this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we should have to try this. For sure. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Frankie. Oh, my pleasure. Enjoy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Hi, my name is Greg Gilland. Uh, I'm the CEO of Crafty Out Distillery Limited. We're a company from London, Ontario, Canada. We basically do the world's first organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, real juice with Piedmont Italian vodka. Um, I'm actually a pharmaceutical scientist by trade, so I actually formulated it with turmeric, goji berries, prickly pear, and ginger, natural plant anti-inflammatories because the body actually undergoes stress when it's consuming alcohol. So we've tried to make a beverage that's socially enjoyable and not necessarily a slam beverage. Um, you can get this one in particular at the LCBO year round. Um, this is our other one, our blackberry pash fruit green tea. And then we have another one, which is our mango honey. I don't actually have the can here, but it's really great. But I'll show you how you can kind of have some fun at home when you're doing craft cocktails. So you can actually take our mango honey and our cranberry and you can actually mix them together. We call it actually a sunset and people really love it. So I'll let you, uh, let you be the taste tester here and see what you think. Awesome. Give a Thank give you. a punt of that. Taste test. Here we go. What do you think? Is it good? It's very good. Yeah. It's like a fruit punch, but more. Yeah. 
So, yeah. so essentially, it's very, very kindergarten. It's mm -hmm. uh, basically juice, vegetable, pulp, uh, Piedmont Italian vodka, and then a state of botanicals, and it's all natural. So um, go to craftyelk.com and learn more, and thank you so much. Uh, you can buy it in single cans, three fifteen a can, um, so you can get it there. And uh, yeah, um, it's been really great. It's been a good summer, but it's a year-round beverage, so um, there's always a stigma with coolers that um, they're a summertime drink. This is actually a year-round drink because it actually helps prevent hangovers while you're drinking. Making a smart choice, hence Crafty Elk, smart alcohol. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. Thanks so much That's for your fine. time. Right. Peace out. See you guys. Nice to meet you. Okay, tell me about it. Uh, so this is Indie Ale House. Uh, we're a brew pub that's located in the junction. Uh, although we just opened up a second location in the uh, Manu Life Center in the basement of Italy. We are the brewing partner. Uh, original location's been around for seven years. Yeah. Uh, so we make all of our own beer. We're a brewery and uh, we make a wide variety. So anywhere from, you know, a Belgian wit to a crazy bourbon barrel aged uh, imperial stout kind of thing. What's the best seller? Uh, our best seller is actually the Instigator IPA, this guy here. Oh, wow. uh, in the brew pub and in the bottle shop that definitely flies off the shelves. So you won't be able to find these in our LCBO, right? Instigator you can actually. Oh, you uh, it's our only brand in the LCBO, uh, but everything else you have to get either from our two locations, so the Italy location or the Junction location. I see uh, lemonade. Yeah, so that's our uh, lemon and lactose sour. We make it with Meyer lemon, so it's not as tart, has a bit of a tartness, nice smooth body to it. Uh, it's lemonade for adults really, so. <laughs> Who is this guy? Uh, that's the Instigator. Okay. Yeah, um, so we use local artists for all of our stuff. Uh, so this guy is done by John Todd, and then all, not all of it, but majority of our other artwork is done by a guy named Dave Murray. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm Jeremy Parsons, and I'm doing my smoked cucumber basil smash. I've got some Stoli Gold in here. I'm gonna add in some fresh cucumber, a little bit of fresh lime. I've got some fresh basil, because everything's got to be fresh if you want it to taste great. So I'm just tearing it up a little bit. I'm going to add in a bit of ice. I'm going to shake it up like crazy. This is going to bruise the actual fruit and the vegetables. So we're getting all the essential oils in the cocktail. The alcohol is going to break it down and make it taste absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to be pouring it into this glass. So I'm pouring it in. Next, I'm going to add in a combination of Mediterranean and elderflower tonic. And then the secret weapon, I'm going to smoke it up. Yeah. So here we go. So I've got some mesquite. This is my cold induction smoker. And it only takes about 10 to 15 seconds for this to actually smoke the cocktail. This brings out some great earthy tones and beautiful interplay with the actual freshness of the cocktail. So are we ready? Here we go. Cheers. You're very welcome. And that's my smoked cucumber basil smash. Enjoy. So that's my new cookbook, Invite Cocktails, Canapes, and Company, filled with all the fan favorites. I cook all over North America and the Caribbean. So amazing food, canapes, paired up menus, all kinds of fun party foods and great tips. <laughs> People love my cocktails. Yeah, no, I mean, it's always something new, and I always try and bring a little bit of me into everything I make. Follow me at, at Culinary Drinks. I'm doing my second TV show for Amazon Prime called The Gastro Guru, launching in the spring. And uh, I love everything that I do. Peace and love to everybody. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, so we have the floating wine glass. So this goes in the pool, the hot tub, the baths of the lake. And the same one stakes right into the sand, the snow, and the grass. So perfect for the beach, like I said, the pool. We also do the new beer holder. So it keeps your beer cold, you can hide it at sports games. Yeah. I love that idea. Yeah. And we have the wine hook, this is our best seller here. 
So it goes onto any outdoor camping chair and it holds your wine glass in place. So no more spills wine, no more broken glass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where can I find these? Uh, so we do have an online store. Okay. But the better deal is at the trade show. So you can find us at many different trade shows like the Cottage Life, uh, the Backyard Living. You can get one, but if you buy any five items, you get the sixth one free. So these are normally $20 a store, but they're $15 here. These are also $15 as well. And the wine hooks are $10. The reason for the pricing is because they are all acrylic. So these are guaranteed never break. It'll last you a lifetime. These are almost indestructible. Throw it at a brick wall, it's going down, but they're very sturdy. So how do I find you online? You have a card. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dean from Last Call Beverages. Nice to meet you. Last Call, for sure. Last Call. So, Last Call is formulated to be the last drink of the night or the first of the morning to get rid of your hangovers. We're formulated with vitamin B12, B6, and B3, coenzyme Q10, and all sorts of botanicals. So, the magic of the product is our proprietary bottle and cap. So, we peel off the sticker. We push the top, oh, wow. and as you can see, all of the ingredients are going down into the bottle right now. Right, right. So the cap is now empty, so we're gonna shake that up. So what that does is mixes all of our vitamins into the bottle, and then basically you take that off, give that a try. That's our acai flavor. Acai. That's our acai, that's over to you. So that's all natural flavors, all natural colors, and coenzyme Q10 increases blood flow, yep. and then it basically decreases inflammation in the body with the coenzyme Q10. We use this cap because the botanicals in the cap um, need to be kept fresh. So when you deploy them, it's the freshest and most powerful at time of deployment. So that's all about last call. Drink it last of the night or first of the day. We have a few really cool spokesmen. If you want to look at our video, we've got Vince Neal from Motley Crue. We've got the, the right? drummer from Vanilla Ice. Oh, wow. So some very, very fun people. So uh -huh. yeah, we really enjoy the product and uh, Look forward to you trying all of them. Absolutely. Where can we get this? So this product is just approved in Canada. Okay. We're currently available in the U.S. We're talking to Korean exporters right now. Oh, is that right? Okay. And uh, we're in 15 states, and we hope to be right across Canada by the, by next summer. Yeah, it's a very it's all natural flavors and colors. We use reverse osmosis water, so it's a very very clean product. Um, we really pride ourselves in having the best of the best. So all the ingredients are kept in the cap until time of deployment, and that's when you drink them. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we're a mobile catering company. We go to festivals and uh, and uh, cater parties all summer long, uh, doing the Hawaiian barbecue. Well, today we're selling the we got the Kalua pork, which in Hawaii is uh, you know buried under the ground, uh, you know slow roasted. We're selling Kalua pork on a bun, and we also got a spam masubi. We cater parties for all types, of, you know, corporate, uh, private parties, birthdays, everything, weddings. So, so yeah. I should definitely try out. Yeah, definitely the spam masubi and kalu pork. You know, those are our best sellers right now. Everybody likes those. You know, have, have a taste of the island. Awesome. And where can we find you? Well, uh, we're we're completely mobile. So every weekend in the summer, from May until the end of September. We're at a different event or a catering a catering party. Do you have like a website? Yeah, or yeah like HawaiianBarbecue.ca. Okay. Or you can just follow us uh, on you know like Instagram, Facebook, Legal's BBQ. Awesome. All right, thank you very much. All right, Brad. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Because uh, most of our uh, 
recipes at the restaurant are cooked with these olives from Spain. A lot of our, our, uh, our products are from Spain. Home food is what we do every day. Okay. And so here we, so we, we did this in a way where we can offer free olives so people have a chance to try the three olives while we display. This is the gorda, this is the manzanilla, which is a fill, and then uh, we have the, the black olive hockey blanca, what it's called. So those three ones we are giving for free so people can have a taste, and then, of course, they can buy our tapas, which we are offering. A smoky pan con tomate. This is one of my favorites. I have breakfast with this every day. It's just smoky tomato spread with the roasted tomato and some uh, black olive in the top. Then we have the trio, the trioli, that when you take them three together, the, the mix is fantastic. And they're all marinated in Spanish olive oil. Then we did a um, uh, montadito with, uh, again, uh, bread. And it's, uh, it's uh, what is the cheese, Maria? Ricotta cheese and with the gorda olive. Really nice. Typical is uh, jamón serrano, jamón from Spain with guindilla. The guindilla is uh, vinegar, salty, and then the olive. This is the perfect combination. Want to try one? Thank you. <laughs> Please do. Of course, Spanish tortilla. Spanish tortilla is, again, one of the oldest recipes from Spain. Everybody does it. It's very much just potato, eggs, and uh, we got an ali oli garlic, and then they get the manzanilla olive in the top. You should also try that big one. Please be my guest. Yeah, and then tell me, tell me what you... <laughs> yeah, so pretty much that's what we're doing today. Um, simple, straightforward, and to bring the natural flavors of the olives. Olives are beautiful. You can mix it out with everything. You don't need any, do anything. You just can put it in a bowl, and then you're ready. Your body's ready. You have to try this. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you. You're very welcome. Mm. <laughs> Good to meet you, Ralph. <laughs> so we are Gallery au Chocolat from Montreal, Canada. Um, this is our fair trade and organic chocolate yes. line. Uh -huh. There are 18 different flavors to choose wow. from. Yeah. 18. All of the chocolate is certified fair trade. The cocoa beans are grown in the Dominican Republic. Um, our chocolate is super delicious and this is what sets us apart because there's so much cocoa butter in the chocolate. Cocoa butter makes it really rich and delicious. Cocoa butter is also the most expensive ingredient in chocolate. So sometimes chocolate makers will back off on it a little bit, um, but we go full out. Um, there's no soy in this chocolate at all, no soy lecithin, and all of our dark chocolates are vegan. Our facility is peanut free and everything is kosher as well. Yeah. And so it's all about, uh, fair trade, right? Yes, fair trade. How does that work for you guys? Oh, so the beans are grown in a fair dark trade program. Dark chocolate sea salt. Where um, the program is committed to helping farmers um, produce chocolate in sustainable ways. And then we also pay premiums to support the infrastructure in their communities. So building roads, building schools, it's a fabulous program. And because chocolate is grown in the global south, um, there's a lot of poverty in areas where chocolate is, is grown. And it's a real problem actually in the cocoa industry. So fair trade is a really great way that consumers can support the cocoa growers, for sure. You're so welcome. And the chocolate is delicious. You just have to find some and try it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cocoa butter. It touches your soul. It's very special. And you know what? Everything is clean, right? We only use real food ingredients and really best quality real food ingredients. There's nothing here like no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no vegetable fats, just all real beautiful food. It's amazing. Flavors are amazing, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. You're so welcome, Ralph. Where can I find you? Oh, you can find us on well.ca. Okay. Uh, we'll, we're also selling on Amazon. And um, this line, for the most part, in um, health food stores now, we're hoping to, to branch out and be in more places where consumers shop. Um, but you can find us now at Whole Foods, at places like the Big Carrot, Ambrosia, Nature's Emporium, Goodness Me, Noah's. Um, and a lot of independence as well. Yeah, but if you just want to shop in your pajamas, 
Well.ca is a fantastic place to find all of our products, yeah. Thank you very much, Lisa. You're welcome, Ralph, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice Cheers. <laughs> of course, absolutely. Um, well, actually, we're importers um, of a fine, all-natural premium beers from Europe. And right here, we're actually just showcasing the different beers that we actually have. One of the most popular beers um, is actually Erdinger, Weiss beer from Germany, town of Erdinger, just outside of Munich. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so that's what we do. And myself, I'm marketing manager here. And all of our sales reps actually represent at each event. So yeah, we don't actually hire an agency whatsoever. We actually have our own people stand up because we actually know the best about the beers themselves. Absolutely. We've been to each brewery like in Europe, so which is amazing. Best experiences ever to go to Europe and actually enjoy beers from the beers of discovery in the world there. But uh, here, as you can see, we have a different range from Belgian beers such as Delirium, Lindemann's, Mongozo, into more of the Austrian Germans such as Stiegel and Erdinger. And right at the end, there's a beautiful beer called Duchesse de Bourgogne, known as the Duchess of Burgundy. Which one is that? Right at the end there. Oh, okay. Duchess of Bourgogne. Yeah, that okay. pretty lady right there. I see right there. Right. I it's see. actually known as the missing link between wine and beer. Wow, okay. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what we're doing here. We're just actually focusing on and actually having a showcasing uh -huh. all of our beautiful beers from different regions of the world or of Europe. Wow. That's the Lanchemans. This is the Siegel Rattler from Austria. It's my personal favorite. Oh. And this is my personal favorite. Stiegel Lager. Oh, wow. That's the sister to the Rattler. That's a beautiful beer. That itself, four ingredients only, even pure water from the Austrian Alps. Is that right? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely, okay. yeah. So you know what? We love this show itself. It's amazing. Uh -huh. Absolutely amazing show. And it's the best show actually to showcase is right? our beers. Absolutely yeah. is. Favorite beer uh, is uh, Guinness. Guinness. Okay. 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 Actually, you know what? You should definitely try Duchesse de Burgoyne. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's a Flanders Ale, completely different than Guinness, but if you like that a little more extra little flavor to it, a little more pizzazz, a little more like full, a little heavy on the palate, you definitely want to try Duchesse de Burgoyne. Oh, wow. For sure. Absolutely. Actually, well, we have it on tap right now. However, I can pour you some. Awesome. Absolutely. Can I just walk with it? Yeah, come in. Come in. Hey guys. Let's go try new chess. Perfect. Okay, so this is a Chester Burgoyne. This is it. So as I said, this is known as the missing link between wine and beer. This is two-thirds what they call more mature beer and one-third young beer. See how beautiful and dark this is? How gorgeous that is. It's known as a Flanders Red Ale. That was actually known as. It's, it's actually the original sour of Belgium. Is that right? Absolutely it is. Wow. You're right, you're you're no problem. You're so welcome. Absolutely. Thank Enjoy. You. <laughs> right? You have a bit of a, that sourness to the palate, yeah, but still yeah. refreshing. So refreshing. Right? And yeah. see a little bit of sweetness to it as well, mm -hmm. too. It's like a little bit of wine, yet. Right, because it is fruit and oak and wine oak cast. Uh -huh. So the actual slots or what they call tenants of the actual oak actually help sour the beer. That's what gives that kind of sour like it does flavor have a to it. Bit of a, not too much. No. Just, the way I like it, right? just a little bit, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Give it a right? yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Where can we get this? It's actually available in bottles at the LCBO. Right, okay. Absolutely, yeah. So you see right behind you here, this bottle right there, it's a 330 mil bottle. That's available at the LCBO. Duchesse de how do, you, how do you pronounce it? Duchesse de Burgoyne, the Duchess of Burgundy. Duchess of Burgundy. Very nice. Okay, yes. is there anything else we should definitely give a try? Ooh, well, something fun. Do you want to do more sour? Or do you want to just say a little bit lighter? A little, little bit lighter? A little bit lighter? I suggest we try the Erdinger Dunkel. Okay. It's a wheat beer as well. It's like the light wheat beer from Germany. Mm -hmm. The only difference is the malts are roasted a little bit longer. The malts are roasted a little bit longer. Okay. So it's like putting bread in a toaster and letting it get dark. Mm -hmm. This is kind of what happened here. However, it's very, very light in taste. So it's not like a stout whatsoever. It looks like it, but it's actually very, very light. It's very deceiving. Because the thing is, is that not all dark beers are actually heavy. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the consumption that we have. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's the thing we actually always think about. But the thing is, is that it's all about how you roast the malts and how long you roast them. So it's like with this particular beer here, like this one here, you could call this lightly toasted. This one, definitely longer roasted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So that's kind of what it is really at this point. So yeah, if you'd like to try this one as well, we can do that too. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. So you're gonna see another, you're gonna see another beautiful dark color here. This beautiful chocolatey, malty-like color there. Absolutely gorgeous. But this one itself, you will see, that's actually extremely light in taste. It doesn't look that light. At it all. doesn't at all. It is just water, hops, malt, and yeast. Just the malt to roast it longer. Right? Very Isn't it very refreshing at the same time? Exactly. Exactly, right? <laughs> you should give it a try. You should definitely give it a try, mm -hmm. for sure. It's absolutely, to me, I think it's actually amazing yeah. um, because of the fact of how light it is and the fact that it actually shocks you when you actually drink this. Yeah. You cannot believe that this is actually like what it is. And again, it's just about roasting. So we call it the dark light beer. It's dark, dark in light. color, uh -huh. but it's light refreshing. Too heavy. Exactly. Uh, a little bit heavier than the light. Exactly. Lager, right? Exactly. And this is also available at the LCBO as well too. Also available there too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and any other beers? You know what? On the lager side, actually, what you should be trying, which is my personal favorite, is Stiegel Lager. To me, it's the ultimate lager. Is that right? It's, I call it liquid gold. My personal why favorite beer. The reason why is because of the ingredients themselves. It's just water, hops, malt, and yeast. Like any other beer, however, 100% barley malt. A lot of breweries cut corners and actually either use corn or rice. But it doesn't give you the full taste of beer. That's not really beer. The original beers were always water, hops, malt, and yeast. Always. 100% barley malt. The water alone in this beer, the water used in this beer, is pure spring water from the Austrian Alps. No additives, no preservatives, no adjuncts, no foaming agents, completely natural. And all of our beers actually that we do import are completely all natural too. So definitely try this one. Like I said, it's my personal favorite. Stiegel Lager. And you see this beautiful golden color to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you see how golden it is, beautiful it is? It's liquid gold, really. It is, it is gold. It's now liquid I see gold. Where you're it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Try this one. Thank you. And you'll see how refreshing this is. Right? Right? It's amazing. Yeah. It's like everyday beer. But this is why I call it, I call it the ultimate lager because to me it's like more supreme than everyday beer. Everyday beer is kind of like blah to me. To me, every time I drink it, it's like another surprise. Yeah. <laughs> every time I drink it. That's just me though. That's just yeah. every palace there, but I just love this one personally. Yeah. I can see that you really love your job. I do. <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing it for a very over the decade now. So. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Tell me about it. Uh, well, Hippie Pops are palettas or gourmet popsicles. They're vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, and nut-free. Tonight, tonight I have some with some infused alcohol. There's a strawberry daiquiri, a white Russian, a fuzzy navel, a lime margarita, and a pina colada. These ones are little sample tasters okay. for for uh, the Can evening as well. Show me the, the menu. Here. Sure. Yeah, those are some of the other flavors that I carry. Normally, I do a lot of outdoor kids' events family events, okay. uh, weddings, corporate events, things like that. How do I find you? Um, well, you can look online. I have an Instagram page and a website and Facebook and all that, hippiepops.ca. Uh -huh. And uh, if you're in Oakville, I'm on Kerr Street. Oh, <laughs> right there. Can, I, can you quickly show us what you have right there? Sure. These are the, the alcoholic flavors that I brought tonight. Oh, for the good party. Correct. Absolutely. The full-size ones. <laughs> Hey, thank you very much. You're welcome, thank That's you. Okay. Here we go. We are Thursday night, VIP night at the uh, Toronto Metro Convention Center at the Wine and Food Show at Zaza Boots, guys. We are here happy to enjoy this beautiful, uh, great event with everybody. Come, enjoy, 
Haz a Zazabut a Toronto Metro Convention Center. Vi aspettiamo. Ciao ragazzi. This is a company that uh, was born uh, uh, almost 13 years ago in uh, here in Toronto. Uh, our mission is to bring a really authentic Italian test here in Toronto and uh, in all Canada. So we offer in all our location uh, good uh, a fantastic uh, espresso coffee and all the uh, espresso drink they are with the coffee. Uh, we have a fantastic, a great and amazing pastisseria pastry. Uh, we have some food like light panini and everything and uh, of course our uh, incredible and fantastic customer Italian service. Uh, you're more than welcome guys uh, to come and enjoy an authentic and Italian taste and flavor here in Toronto with Zaza Espresso Bar. Ciao ragazzi! You guys want a coffee? Yeah. Espresso? Yeah, espresso. Pronto, espresso, ready. You want an espresso? Ecco qui, here we make some espresso that's uh, very fantastic. So we will make a nice espresso that it's the base of all the drinks that they come with all espresso. So our coffee will be a nice and uh, arabica, fantastica. So after we have also some um, uh, amazing and fantastic pasticceria pastry that goes with espresso. Of course, you know, uh, one of the main uh, uh, pastry that we have are cannoli. They are based with ricotta cheese. It's a uh, main flavor that uh, comes from south of Italy, especially in Sicilia. In Sicilia, it's uh, uh, a pastry that comes from there. And of course, we have a bombe. Uh, the bombe are uh, a little puffy pastry that comes with some uh, Nutella or vanilla cream. They are fantastic, the bomba with Nutella with your espresso together. Oh wow, it's an explosion in your mouth of a great and fantastic flavor. And remember, the Italian flavor, it will explode in your mouth when you eat a bomba of Zaza! Facciamo un altro caffè, forza, andiamo! Un altro espresso, pronto! So that's one espresso, prego, è pronto. Se vuoi lo zucchero, sugar, it's ready. And another espresso, pronto. Here, of course, if you come at our location, we'll be serving a ceramic cup with your dish, a little bit differently than where we serve here at the booth, you know? Come and enjoy us at Zaza Express. Ali, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. So you have a spur for me, right? Yes. Awesome. Tell me about what you got here. So I lived in Thailand from 2013 okay. to 2015. Okay. My wife's Thai and she had a job down there. Okay. Loved to cook, so I learned how to cook from the Blue Elephant Cooking School in Thailand. And then came back to Canada and realized that I needed to bring these great products back to Canada. So we started bringing them over in 2018 and uh, it's been about a year and a half and uh, I have my family supporting me uh, in this, my aunt Layla and everybody um, helping me and we're trying to get the word about authentic clean Thai food out to the general public. I see some uh, award there. Yes, we won best ethnic product in Canada award okay. at the Grocery Innovations Expo last month. Yeah. So what's so special about this curry? They're all natural, no colors, no preservatives and you can make authentic Thai food in like 10 minutes at home. We have about six to seven different varieties here and we have uh, all of our stuff has QR codes. You just scan it, the recipe and videos come up. Oh, wow, that's really smart. Yeah. How come people didn't come up with that idea before, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. We should definitely try this. Okay, if, if we miss this beautiful show, how do I find you? So we have a website, www.blueelephantcanada.com. We're also available on amazon.ca, okay. Amazon Prime. Okay. And uh, Winners, Marshalls, HomeSense also carries our product. Can you go over the, like, uh, you go over the price line? Yeah, um, our prices are between six to eight dollars per package, okay. depending on which kind you go with. Okay. These ones are six ninety nine on Amazon. Okay. Um, and our ready to heat sauces are eight ninety nine. Can I cook this now? Yes, and that's this package right here. And this one you just add water and you have Thai curry in a matter of minutes. 
But how many people can you eat? Two to four, depending on how much you eat. Do we have to add anything else? Just water and protein. So chicken or veggies or whatever you want to add. Is that easy, huh? Yeah, very easy. Coupon code there as well if people want to use it. You get $10 off, $50 purchase. Blue Yes. And you have your authentic Thai curry at home. That's all you did. Just add a That's it. chicken and a veggie. Yep. Oh, that's amazing. I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, you can bring the authentic taste of Thailand home. How do you like it? Absolutely love it. Awesome. Because I went to Thai two years ago. Oh, okay. I love their curry. Awesome. Yeah, so you can bring it home, make it easily at home now. Exactly the same as the one I had in Thai. Try this for sure. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is my Amazing. homemade bolognese made with local San Marzano tomatoes and all uh, locally sourced ingredients um, available on my website. So have a look at my website www.cucinacalabria.com. And here's a sample for you. You need to have some. And my homemade hot sauce also is okay. here. Homemade hot sauce. Okay. Can I give you a bit of hot sauce? Absolutely. Do you like hot sauce? We love hot sauce. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Enjoy. Bon appetito. Bon appetit. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Let me know what you think. You like okay. spice, right? I love spice. You're not going to run away. Okay. Here we go. And one for you too, okay. Oh, okay. I love you. Okay. Oh my so God. You have to come back. <laughs> it was for the pasta and the sauce. Can you believe it? How about for you, hot sauce? This is amazing. All right. Hot sauce for you too. Awesome. All right, guys. Bon appetito. And here's my card. Check out my, and I have take home lasagnas. And I also have my tomato sauce and hot sauce available for sale. So, there you go. And my pomodoro vegetarian. You can find me on my website. Okay. On Instagram. 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 So tell me about what you got here. This is a product I developed out of Guelph, Ontario. Okay. It took three years to develop, and it, uh, it's currently being made, produced, and packaged in Guelph at the University of Guelph. Yes. I've seen this uh, package before because, you know, my name is Rafael. Yes. <laughs> so. Well, you know what? The, the original is selling the most yeah. because it was the first one out, okay. but the rest of them are quickly catching up. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, like the, especially the garlic ones. Garlic ones are good. Yeah. The spicy garlic one seems to be a, a favorite. But they're all good. Where can I find your product? Uh, I'm in about 60 stores across Ontario. Okay. Anywhere from Kitchener to Kingston up to Halliburton and now in Ingersoll. And I'm, okay. a, I'm in about all the Bruno locations. I'm in about 12 Foodland stores and three independent stores. Where and mom okay. and pop shops. I see. Yeah, it's uh, Rafa, Rafaele.ca. Rafaele.ca. Yeah, nice. it's on my sign. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All our cheese are from Quebec. Uh, well, especially this one. I don't know if you tried these three. Uh, we are 100% made with organic milk, only from Quebec. Uh, most of our cheese are lactose free. We are also rennet free. And then we are gluten free as well. Uh, we have some importation. Actually, the one that you try, you have an organic sheep feta organic. Okay. And this is also an organic goat, uh, spreadable goat cheese from France. So these two are brand new, it's imported. But 95% of our cheeses are made in Quebec, actually in Trois Rivières, uh, between Montreal and Quebec City. Yes. Yes. So, what's the must try product you have in here? Uh, well, you should you really should try the three years old cheddar. It's actually made with unpasteurized milk, lactose free, uh, rennet free as well. It's one of the favorites. And the other one is the smoked cheddar right beside. It's a real smoke compared to so many smoked cheeses that are uses liquid smoke. Can I give it a try? Yeah, please. That's good. Where can I find you? 
Uh, well, we're in most natural and organic stores in Toronto, actually. Uh, organic Garage, Goodness Me, uh, Big Carrot, uh, Old Foods. Uh, we're a little bit less in, con um, in conventional market, but we're more and more in mass. So we're, please ask for a product in your low bar and your Sobe stores. <laughs>